Coverage of the corruption crackdown sentencings continue tonight. The judge in today's case had harsh words for the defendants and the town council as a whole. During Joseph Birchfield's hearing, Chief Judge Mary Lisi said, quote, this defendant held a leadership position in what we now know was a criminal organization. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Soprato continues our in-depth coverage live in North Providence with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. Here at Town Hall, Mayor Charles Lombardi told us he doesn't disagree with the judge's statement. The disgraced North Providence Council members have been replaced, and the mayor acknowledges with suspicion tainting Town Hall, it's been difficult to conduct business. We just want to move on. It's, it's been difficult for us. As Joseph Birchfield, the former president of the town council, was sentenced to 64 months in prison, Judge Mary Lisi said, quote, this defendant held a leadership position in what we now know was a criminal organization. What can I say? I, I can't uh, totally disagree with the judge. Um, she has her opinion. I respect that. And um, uh, hopefully everyone gets the message uh, that um, this can't, you know, be, uh, you can't conduct business in, in this manner. Raymond Douglas sentenced to 78 months. John Zamborano will learn his fate tomorrow. And only after that can the cloud of suspicion begin to clear. It's been a little tough for us and uh, every day and we, we need to go forward. Since this scandal broke, five of the seven council members here at Town Hall are new. We're live in North Providence with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom tonight. I'm Alex DeProto, Eyewitness News.